Hello, my name is Rita Kovac. I am very excited to be here, first of all, because this is my very first solo show. And uh, I taught for many, many years, and now it's my turn to produce some of my own art, and it's very exciting. Um, I have changed over the years. Uh, I used to be very, very traditional, but I'm expanding. I'm painting bigger sizes. This one, for instance, the gold of the Sierra Madre, that's one of my bigger achievements in the sense that it is much bigger than I have ever painted. And uh, I, and I love flowers. I grow plants and vegetables. So this idea developed from that. I also love nature. And uh, this one was featured on the front porch in Fredericksburg. And it's also my business card. So you might have seen it somewhere. A very unique opportunity that I've had was being a teacher because it was most fulfilling. I was an art teacher for a good part of that time. And I, would watch my students working on their art and go, oh, I wish I could do something like that. I was able to try all kinds of medium with them, media with them. And as they explored, I explored as well. So you will see throughout my art, I enjoy oil painting the most, but I also do watercolors and I do sketching and occasionally 3D as well, such as, you know, pottery. So I'm blessed to be able to do several things, and I don't concentrate on just one. I want to point out these two paintings to you simply because they are very different from what I normally do. I usually use a paintbrush and sit there and nitpick and get what I'm doing done. This one was more challenging because these two, because I used a palette knife. There is nothing in there that I did with a brush. It's all done with my palette knife. And there's a story behind these two. I visited our family in Florida. They have two, I have two grandchildren there. And we went in a water taxi. Who ever heard that except maybe in Venice in a gondola. But we went out and it was evening and the lights on all of these homes and businesses were reflecting in the water. And it just, I had to take pictures, of course, because I never leave without my phone camera. And when I got home, I thought, oh, I've got to paint that. And they were my subject matter, and it was just very exciting to do. I wanted to point this painting out because I had a different type of inspiration here. I was in the mood to do sailboats, and I've done sailboats before, usually in the daytime, and I thought, what would it be like to do sailboats at night? And so I started sketching. I did download some pictures from the internet to see what a sailboat looked like. And I started sketching. And this is the first part of it that I did. And then I thought, what if we had a whole lot more sailboats in the background with the moon shining and with the little reflections in the water? I'm fascinated by reflections in about anything but water. It's amazing all of the beautiful sparkling shapes that turn out. And so that's how this one began and it turned into what I now call the Moonlight Regatta, reminiscent of Moonlight Sonata maybe. Apparently I was still in the mood to paint sailboats, but I needed something different. And I was looking through some old albums and I discovered some uh, some postcards back from the Vietnam era and they were beautiful they had a lot of color uh, they were unique and then I thought I'm going to limit myself once again and use my palette knife so every little piece on this was done with my little knife creating the reflections even the smoothness in the sky with the palette knife and uh, I I'm satisfied with the result. I was, I was happy with it and I thought I'd present it today. To end my part of this presentation, I want to show you one of my, my more traditional pieces and that is little Miss Kitty here, Peekaboo Kitty. This, you know, it's done with more detail and with a brush rather than the palette knife. And this is really done from a photograph that I took of our kitty playing in my garden amongst my good plants, but you know, kitties are spoiled, so here she is.
the Fredericksburg Center for the Creative Arts, where art and history meet.